one of the players was saying that the coaches brought up the 99 team that they were talking about. What did they share with you? Um, emphasize that you know, they went in, went into Cincinnati, um, took a loss there. They had another week, big week, um, Michigan. You know, took another loss there, then went in uh, to Ohio State. Another big game was down, um, I think at, at halftime. Um, came back and then went out the rest of the season. So really just a big thing of how do you want to be defined as a team? You know, when you're winning, you have everybody on your side, everything is going well, but you know, how do you really want to be defined? Do you want to be defined as a team like, hey, oh, they lost and then the season went downhill. It was like, hey, they lost, but then they got it together. They started pulling their fist up and, you know, fought their way through the rest of the season. You know, to use the term mountain Do you think that's what the coaches were doing with you guys today, saying don't think that the season's over at this point? Oh, no. Well, I knew that, especially the leaders, they knew that the leaders understood that the, the season wasn't over yet, but really just understanding that you guys got to focus up. I mean, let that, let that sting fuel you, but don't, don't let it tank the season. Do not let it tank you the way you're playing uh, throughout the rest of the season. You think that was an important example to hear? 1999? Yeah, definitely. Uh, a lot of guys, you know, especially some of the young guys who didn't know the history, you know, probably thought, wow, like, I probably thought that they dominated throughout the whole season, but they didn't understand that that team actually lost two games and then fought back uh, in the shoe and then won out the rest of the season. So I don't think a lot of younger guys are about to do that. <laughs> <laughs> They're like 2,000 kids and 2,001 kids. That's, that's wild. What are you like? I'm 99, so I'm right on the board. I'm right on the board. What's your birthday again? January. <laughs> you weren't watching that game. I was not watching that game. Jonathan, I mean, before last week even began, you know, for college football, I was reading about J.K. Dobbins, and people were saying, you know, who's going to be the better back come Saturday between you oh, and sure. him. What's that excitement like that, you know, obviously you're not taking down J.K. one-on-one, -on -one, but, you know, other side of the ball, you know, there's something that you can be competing with literally right there on the field. It's exciting because it's kind of like you and yours um, versus me and mine. So I'm, that's, a, that's a quote from a Drake song. But uh, it's the biggest thing. It's like, you know, him and his offense um, versus you know, our defense and me and our offense versus uh, him and his defense. So it's kind of just a, a fact of, you know, who's going to make some plays. And, you know, the biggest thing, you understand that we're both competitors and, you know, you see him make a big play and then, you know, you want to make a big play. You might see me make a big play and he wants to make a big play. You know, that's the type of competitors that we are, so it should be fun. It's like they have a really good edge player, Chase Young. I mean, have you been watching any film on him? And Does that affect how you run the ball at all? Uh, no, it doesn't really affect how we run the ball. It just understands that that's somebody you got to make sure that you use great, t great technique with because he's an exceptional athlete. So you got to make sure that, you know, you're on your P's and Q's um, to, you know, keep up with that. With that front seven in general, what do you see on film early on that could, you know, that will challenge you guys in a different way this week compared to the other weeks past? Uh, one of the biggest things, making sure that, you know, we're able to get guys stop playing with extension. All those guys like to play off the block. So they're good at it as well. You know, that's what they do. They're being coached up to do that. So you got to make sure you take one element of their game away in order to, you know, be in favor for us. So I think that's the biggest thing is understanding that you can't just come up to guys and expect those guys to not play off. You got to make sure you really get in uh, within their chest plate. How did, how did Quan look in his, his first game time action this year, if I'm not mistaken? How, how did he look as a fullback, in a, you know, and how do you assess him as a, you know, true freshman then getting in in the sixth game of the year? No, yeah, he, he did good, you know, especially just because the situation that we were kind of in as well during the game, you know, kind of a, a close, tight, a tight game uh, throughout it. So, just, you know, just him not having the moment be too big for him. I mean, of course, you know, first time game action, so there's going to be some, a lot of things you got to correct. But for his first time, I mean, I'm like, I'm proud of him. Have you noticed that your defense has gotten faster? And I mean one-on-one, man-on-man, -on -man, just full-out sprint speed. Have yeah, you seen that? yeah, that was one thing. I, I emphasized that um, going into this year was that, you know, this defense has a lot of speed on it, you know, being able to get the sideline to sideline. So I just realized that, I don't know, those guys transform their bodies during the off season, and, you know, we have great schemes lined up, but those guys are definitely rallying to the ball at all times. Does that push you at all, or not really? I mean, you already had your talent, and you don't really need that additions in practice? Oh, no, in practice, whenever you go against a fast defense, then it forces you to play fast, and, you know, it just kind of puts, puts that stress on you in order to make a decision a little bit faster and being able to be decisive. Did you top out at 22.4? Is that what I heard? Throwing a game? Yeah, game. I don't know what I hit last game. No, okay. no, not last game. I mean, this year. Is that the highest you've been? <clears throat> 
I'm not sure. I haven't checked the speeds out in a couple of weeks. I gotta go okay, check. I gotta talk to Coach Snee. Okay. Did Coach Snee tell you that? Um, through Brian Mason PR, yes. So he probably looked at it. I gotta okay. go talk to Coach Snee. Does that feel right, or do you think you're faster? No, I, I don't know what. Sometimes you thought you hit a number. And it's lower, but sometimes you're like, ah, I didn't really, wasn't that really fast on that run. And then you're like, oh, I hit that. So I got to talk to Coach Snee. Okay. You're one of the few guys that's coming and played right away. But uh, a lot of guys, they take their time. And then after a few years, they play, play in this program. Do you think that's something that Wisconsin does? They're different or, or well that they are able to develop players over time? Yeah, I think that's a big thing with this program is that guys, you know, develop. And I think they, they want to do that. That's one of their things that they're like, hey, we want you to come in. We want you to play right away. But if that's just not the case, we have time. I mean, we have time. You know, we're going to be able to develop you. And I think once guys come onto the scene and, you know, maybe people from outside the program are like, well, where did this guy come from? They're like, oh, well, he's been in the program for three, four years. And, you know, I think that's real big. And that's just a testimony to the coaches and the strength and conditioning staff of how well they're able to develop players over time. When you play in Ohio State, they probably have a different approach. They get four or five star guys trying to move the lane right away. Probably know the answer is. Do you think the recruiting rankings and the fact they've got so many four or five star guys? Do you think that matters at all in a game like this? No, because even four or five star guys, they, they mess up sometimes. So that's the biggest thing is just playing clean football, and taking advantage of opportunities when when guys do slip up, and I'm sure they do the same thing whenever someone slips up. They try to take advantage of it. You play them once. Like you can. can you tell the speed and the physicality, like the athletes? Can you do you notice a difference in the tempo and the level? Yeah, they're fast defense too. Kind of similar to the defense this year. Like I said, our defense is playing very fast this year. So, kind of from what I remember from that year, is that those guys they, they were playing really fast sideline to sideline. So you can tell that they got some speed on defense. Do you, 